Welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today I'm going to explain a little bit of what we mean by ticks inside Soundbox. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is more of a theoretical tutorial as we are not going to play um, sounds really for this tutorial, but it's an important one because you will hear often the uh, term tick or ticks inside some box and it's uh, useful to know what it means as we progress through the understanding of how to use some box. As you can see, Soundvox is running as a standalone at the moment on the screen, but it's the same as if you were running it as an a UV3 inside your door, like, um, I don't know, or audio mixer like a, a UM. So let's create a new project. So we start um, uh, fresh, so we select empty. Now, when you have a new project, you might find, for example, if I add a sampler, which I showed in other tutorials how to do that, you will find that, um, and let's load um, a sample like uh, the kick wave form, which sounds like this, perfect. You will find that uh, um, if you go under edit, under envelope, if you start to select a point, you will see that um, uh, here, um, it will say line one, tick two. As I move this, it will say tick three, tick four, five, and then it will go back to zero, but the line will increment to two from one and so on, like so, see one, five. Now, what is a tick? A tick is the smallest um, interval, time interval that you can have in a, some box button, okay? And and it's important to know how it works. If you go to the uh, up here on the menu and you click on project properties, you will find some important information. So first of all, you have the bit per minute here, 125. But then here it will say ticks per line. We know what a line is, for example, a line here uh, for a pattern or line as we have seen it uh, inside the, uh, the sampler. And this tells you how many ticks there are per line. We have seen that it was going from zero to five. Here it says six, because, uh, which is correct, because uh, the starting point is zero as many programming languages. So if it says here six, it will go from zero to five. So, um, but how does it correlate between ticks and bits per minute? So because in music, we are used to um, set the tempo by bits per minute as an example. So if you check the manual, the manual will say that um, 24 ticks correspond to a bit. So if you know that, um, you know now how long it will take to play a pattern. Why? Because if you close these, you know that in a pattern, as you can see here, there are 32, it stops at 31, I start from zero. Okay, so you have 32 lines. Now for every line, as you can see here, you have uh, uh, six ticks and um, 24 ticks make a bit, and then you can set the bits here. Okay, so let's say that we um, put uh, the ticks per line up to 24, and it can go only up to 31. Again, start from one, okay, in this case, so let's set it to 24. Okay, so it will play 24 ticks per line, which means that a bit is equal to 24 ticks, so it will play a bit per line. Okay, click close, and if you click play, okay, it's playing one bit per line. Okay, now, if you wanted to have these 32 lines played um, within uh, for example, 30 seconds. So what you will have to do is um, go again on project property. So if you set um, um, the bit per minute to be uh, 32, it will play 32 bits, okay, uh, like so. 
32 uh, bits per minute. Every time it makes a bit, it will play 24 ticks, therefore a line. And there are 32 lines, so it will play 32 lines um, within a minute. If you set the bit per minute to 64, you double it, right? Like so. It will play the 32 lines in half of the time. 30 seconds and so on and so forth so you could uh, for example set these to 128 right like so click close and now if you start from the beginning one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen roughly um um, a quarter of uh, a, a minute. I counted probably too quickly there um, to, to give it justice. I didn't have a, um, a metronome um, handy with me. But that uh, is the concept. And of course, if you want to uh, affect the time or playing the uh, the pattern, uh, you can increase the bit per minute so you and will speed it up or you can, for example, increase the uh, ticks per um, per line. Okay, so, um, or decrease them, depending on what you are trying to actually do. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope it, um, it makes sense because uh, there will be also some option moving forward in which you can say, for example, wait for X number of ticks per line when you reach a specific lines, which you can do in some box, which becomes crucial in terms of understanding, okay, but how long is it going to wait? Well, you know now that 24 ticks correspond to a bit, and then you can set the number of ticks per line, and therefore you can work out based on the bit per minute how long it will stay in a, on a particular line before he skips, for example, which I will show you in a, a coming tutorial. And of course, this comes very handy when you are actually including some box inside, uh, for example, AUM, and you're playing alongside other synth or other apps. Okay, I hope you, you find it uh, useful. And as always, see you next time. Bye.